If you ask many of the opponents of this law what exactly they do differently, their answer seems to be, well, let's go back to the way things used to be. Just the other day, the Republican leader in the Senate was asked what benefits people without health care might see from this law, and he refused to answer, even though there are dozens in this room and tens of thousands in his own state who are already on track to benefit from it. He just repeated repeal over and over and over again. And obviously we've heard that from uh, a lot of folks uh, on that side of the aisle. Look, I I've always said I will work with anybody to implement and improve this law effectively. You got good ideas? Bring them to me. Let's go. But we're not repealing it as long as I'm president. And I want everybody to be clear about that. We will make it work for all Americans. If you don't like this law, So, if despite all the millions of people who are benefiting from it, uh, you still think this law is a bad idea, then you've got to tell us specifically what you'd do differently to cut costs, cover more people, make insurance more secure. You can't just say that the system was working with 41 million people without health insurance. You can't just say that the system's working when you've got a whole bunch of folks who thought they had decent insurance, and then when they got sick, it turned out it wasn't there for them. Or they were left with tens of thousands of dollars in out-of-pocket costs that were impossible for them to pay. You know, right now, what that law is doing, yes, you agree with me. <laughs> right now, what this law is doing is helping folks, and we're just getting started with the exchanges, just getting started with the marketplaces. So we're not going to walk away from it. If I've got to fight another three years to make sure this law works, then that's what I'll do. That's what we'll do.